Hi, it's Martin, and welcome to another episode on my Knit365 YouTube channel. Today's Vlogmas video is episode three. So this is going to take us Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and maybe just Wednesday, maybe into Thursday. Who will know? <laughs> we'll see what happens in the edit. It's the week before we go on holiday. We are travelling to Scandinavia on Friday, we're going to the airport on Thursday. There is a lot of work that needs to happen before we get to go on holiday. So I'm not sure what this video is going to be like. There will be some fibre content, of course there will be, including Advent. And birds, I'm very behind with the birds. They're not likely to get finished before I go on holiday, which means they're coming on holiday with us. So it is the usual chaotic madness that you are coming to expect from my channel along with the festive build-up. It's fine. Um, I'm now filming this episode, at the beginning anyway, after I finished the end of the last one. So as you can see, the tree still isn't decorated. <laughs> so I guess the next thing you're gonna see will be us decorating the tree when I get home from work. Um, but before I go to work, I just thought I'd open up my advent. So we are on day five. And I know what this is because I have read this morning's pattern. Looked at it, it was like, wow, that's a lot of crochet. I'm not going to do that this morning. <laughs> so I know what the clue is, uh, what the gift is, because it says in the pattern. Spoiler! Ah, so we have another centralizer. Slash stitch marker. They're super cute. I don't know if the iPhone is going to... Focus on that. Can you focus on that, please? Maybe, maybe not. But you can see anyway, it's this gorgeous little feather. Um, and yeah, so then we've got another one. So we've already put one in the center of his body. And I think from reading the pattern, this one's going on the top of his head. Um, but we'll see when I get there. Right, I really have to go to work now. Um, so this was a very short introduction. So I will be back shortly when I get home from work. So nine hours later, and we'll hopefully start to decorate that. I'll be back in a bit. Monday, just after four, I am home from work and I'm going to do the comment picker for the winner of the Toft Advent, and then I can get in touch with that person, and then we're gonna decorate the tree. So I will spin you around and record the exciting reveal. Do, do, do. So I am on commentpicker.com. I've popped in the URL for the video. I've told it to filter duplicate users and search for Toft. So I need to do the capture and I need to get the comments. Wowee. So there are 689 comments that match the criteria. And then we'll start the raffle. So raffle and pick number winner, a random winner. Good luck, everybody. Ni we. I think I've pronounced that correctly. Congratulations. You are the lucky winner. I'm going to go and find your comment and I'm going to reply to it now. You really love the Toft birds. Well, I've done nine and a half. I still haven't finished my Toft birds, so hopefully I'll get them finished before December. Right, let me go and find your comment. Right, draw's done. Email sent to the lucky winner. Uh, we are now going to decorate the tree and as is tradition, if you watch last year's Vlogmas, and maybe I did Vlogmas the year before that, but definitely last year's Vlogmas. Our tradition when we decorate the tree is we put National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation on and we try and get the whole thing finished before the end of National Lampoon. It will all dictate on whether the lights go on in one go and how many rows we have. Last year we were done and dusted before the end of the film, which is an hour and 48 minutes. It will go on one hit. Oh, the voice off camera has spoken. It's going on in one hit. Right. Um, there we go. I always want to do like a, like a reveal thing, but I'll do a, like a time lapse, I think, or something. You can kind of see him. There he is. He's in the, he's in the reflection of the glass. Wave. <laughs> right. 
Right, let's go. We are. How, how, how far through the movie are we, please? The lights have just gone on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's my attempt at singing. We have, an, we have an hour and... Oh, we're 47 minutes through. An hour to go. And the lights are on and the pine cones are on. Time for the baubles. And another port. Oh, that could be the thumbnail. We got one hour and 22 minutes into the film. Yay! There it is. I'll show you Poppy in a bit. You'll see it all Christmas. Um, if you watch National Lampoon, if you haven't watched it, go and watch it because it is, quite frankly, the best Christmas film of all time. Don't leave me a comment below. I don't want to know. It is the best Christmas film of all time. It's the only one. Um... <laughs> Mr. Shirley hasn't even arrived dressed in his pyjamas and a bow yet. That's how well we've done this year. So, air high five to us. Uh, might have another glass of port now. And then I need to do today's clue. Because you are here for the crochet, really, aren't you? <laughs> so, um, yeah, let's have some tea and then I'll be back. Today's clue looks intense. I'll report back in a minute. Okay. I have done... Today's clue, a man alive, that was fiddly. Definitely the fiddliest day so far. Um, so we've added in the second centralizer, which is kind of in line with the first one. Um, it's a slightly different design to the first one. Um, I think it's very subtle, but they are slightly different. Um, but we have, so technically we finished this part. I haven't finished all the decreases because I have slightly larger fingers and I need a bit of space to put the filling in with. So I, um, I've i left a, a slightly longer end so that I can stuff it, the filling, the stuffing, and then um, I'll finish the decreases. But, uh, so this is where we got to yesterday where I think I just started. It's very subtle. Um, if I can get a camera to focus on it, I don't know if it will. Mm, kind of. Uh, so you can see we started this V and then this has carried on. And then these have carried on around the top. And then they have come back down into a point. So as we came along this side, we added beads on this side as well, um, which our placement needs to be exact because we needed them to be symmetrical. So mine are, I think. Um, but that was super fiddly because we were putting these beads on um, whilst decreasing. And then in previous years, we would like do a bead, then a row without a bead, a round without a bead, and then another round with beads and a round without, etc. But this, we've stacked them. So you were going on top of a stitch with a bead, which just, there wasn't a lot of room to get your hook in. So that's taken me just over an hour. I'd had to rip it back once because I got to the end of a round and I should have had two stitches left and I had three which then, and it was a round with a bead on, which then meant the beads wouldn't have been in the right place. So I had to rip that back and it's fine. We did it. Um, Kerry said in today's bit of the video uh, that is on Instagram that tomorrow is an easier day. Um, so if you get behind today, you can catch up tomorrow. So I'm okay because I'm, I'm up to date, um, but I will look forward to an easier day tomorrow. Uh, we're starting a new piece tomorrow, so we won't do any more now on this. And I'm guessing not until... Day 15, I think, is the stuffing because we're missing the 15th day in the box. There's no 15 package. So I think that's the stuffing. So this will just probably sit there now. So there we go. Um, I'm now going to go and attempt 
to do some work on a bird. Um, I have done the body and two legs of the second bird I needed to do. Um, and I just need to do the wings and the beak and the tail. So I'm hoping I'll get those done tonight. Um, it is eight o'clock. Um, no, nine o'clock. So I might not get these done tonight. But I need to really get them done tonight if that then means I'm going to try and do a whole bird tomorrow and a whole bird Wednesday to then get everything sewn up Thursday morning <laughs> before we go away this is looking unlikely I'm not going to finish them before I go but I'm definitely not going to do that if I keep on chatting to you so for me and day four's bird we are off to go and do some more crochet and I will chat to you in a bit which is really tomorrow and tell you how I got on Good morning, Tuesday. It's early, it's half past seven, but it's not as early as it should be because I should have been up earlier. If I was gonna crochet today's clue, but I now don't have enough time to do it before I go to work, which means I need to do it after work. So day six, and we have a new ball of wool. Ooh. I don't think this is going to show up on the camera very well, but this is mist. So this will be an advent exclusive because I'm looking to see where my advent is. So this is what we've been crocheting with, cream, and we've now added in mist. That is subtle. So there are like three greys, I think, in the toft range. Charcoal, shale, steel. I think it might just be those three. Um, we'll get the, uh, the colour check out later. Um, so we now have mist. So you can see the difference between the two. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Um, all I know about today's clue is I haven't read the email yet. We are going to be um, starting a new part because obviously we finished the beaded head yesterday. So that's exciting. Right. Okay. Well, I need to make some tea. And as you know, when I say tea, I mean coffee. It's very confusing when you go to other people's houses. Would you like tea? Oh, yes, please. Can I have coffee? Um, so I need to make some coffee and then I need to get ready for work. I'm not sure what Advent festiveness. The tree is up. The lights aren't on. It's too early for lights. Um, yeah. Oh, I'll do a check-in on my birds later. I did have a good night. So I finished. I had four to go. Um, so I crocheted two. They're not sewn up, but all the bits are done. And I've started the third one. I'm about halfway up the body. So if I could finish that today, that would be amazing. And that, I mean, I've only got one bird to do. I would love to get them made before I go away. I'm not bothered about sewing them up. I can sew them up when I come home, maybe. Anyway, right, I need to go to work. <sighs> okay, hi. <laughs> it is quarter to 10 on Tuesday the 6th. I need to go out a shot. Look at the beautiful tree. <laughs> um, right. I'm just gonna talk to you for a couple of minutes about what I've been up to today because it's been a crazy day of work. Um, we've reached that holiday stage where we're going away for over a week. So we're now wearing inappropriate clothing around the house so this is a summer t-shirt as you can see with the florals um that i'm not taking on holiday with me because i can't wear clothes that i would usually wear that i might want to take on holiday because we're now in that pre-holiday washing phase you know what i mean um so i came home from work and i've done today's bit of the clue which i showed this morning sorry for knocking the camera um i showed the subtlety 
it's really subtle in the evening light as well between mist and cream. Um, I believe these are going to be the start of the bird's legs. So we had to make two. You are not going to pick up, I don't even think my eyes, even with my readers, yeah, um, it's very subtle. They've kind of got spiky bits on them. You can just make out the pale bits. Um, you can finish loading the dishwasher if you want, it's fine. Real life if there's banging around, right? <laughs> so there's kind of these subtle, it's like a fade. So I'm guessing that it's going to be the start of Birdie's legs. Maybe. Um, so we're making progress. We are up to date with Advent so far, which is brilliant. Um, and then I thought I would quickly check in on my 12 Birds of Christmas. I'm still not sure I'm going to finish before I go on holiday, but I have a bag, the little grey girl. I think you've seen this one before, pyramid bag. Um, I've basically been going around and gathering loads of off cuts of the yarn that I need. Um, and... I have a bag of bird bits. So this is how I'm kind of tackling it. So um, we have John the Woodpecker, who's finished. Um, I don't know which way he goes. <laughs> oh, John. Right, that's the front of his face. Um, so I, I've done him and his funky wings. I really enjoy doing these because we were changing color mid round. So we have these reversible wings. So I finished John the Woodpecker. Um, and then I've also finished the second one in the book. I realized also, because I was doing them in random based on the ones I wanted to do, this is why I think I've missed one out. Because I wasn't like, oh, I'm on month six or month ten. No, I was just randomly picking which ones I wanted to do. Um, so this is Beatrice the Turtle Dove. That's the back of her head. Um, and then I've done wings. So I finished all of Beatrice and I finished all of John. John's beak. Um, and they're living in this bag. And then what I've literally just finished, and my tension's a bit off on this one. She's a little bit bigger than she should be. He? Gilbert, they, the pheasant. Which is basically the Oompa Loompa bird, if you've seen Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Oompa Loompa Doopa Doo Doo. So I've just finished. I didn't enjoy this one at all because there was... Um, a pattern in the colouring for the odd rows and the even rows. And on the rows, you are also trying to increase and decrease. So I might have been doing a row that was, for example, plates, crochet three, increase in a stitch. So you do one, two, three, and then two stitches in the next stitch. But at the same time, you are doing too light, too dark, but that didn't then work because you had three and the one. So then the next color needed to be in the second increase. And my little brain was just, so in the end, I kind of winged it a little bit. It's 90% correct. Um, and then it's got this lovely little oatmeal collar and then into the head. Um, but I made the mistake. So with these two, and Kerry says this um, to, I don't know why I did it. <laughs> Sorry, I moved the camera. Um, with these two, I finished them all and I got to the end. They are meant to be different sizes, these ones. It's fine. Um, but I got to, I got all the way to the end and then I stuffed them. Whereas with this one, I did the body and then I just grabbed the stuff in and I stuffed it and then I did the head. But of course, as you're crocheting the head, you've got this weight dangling on it. And I think my tension is a little bit loose on the head. So if we compare the pheasant to the woodpecker. 
they are much bigger. So if I give him a bit of a squish down and <laughs> make him small, keep him low, he gets a bit better. Um, but there's definitely something about my tension. I wonder, actually, bear with. So it might it might not be my tension. Um, he is 39 rows in total. John the Woodpecker is... <laughs> 39 rounds in total. Okay, they are meant to be the same size. <laughs> Can you tell the difference? One's definitely bigger than the other. Yeah. One. It's fine. Hey, no birds are identical. This could be the thumbnail. No birds are harmed in the process. Yeah, no birds were harmed in the, in the process. Martin's going a little bit stir-crazy. How do I want to do that? That's what I want to do. That could be the thumbnail, maybe. I don't know. Um, I struggle with thumbnails sometimes because the ones that YouTube recommends, you're like, no, that's like... You like pull a really random face and it thinks that's what you want it to be. Um, anyway, so there's a lesson on tension, which ironically we started the last video and my tension was perfect on my advent bird but it does go to show because i think it's the head is a lot bigger um definitely i think the body's not too dissimilar um maybe <laughs> but also i think tension as in with knitting your tension can be affected by your mood if you're really angry and tense you could be knitting really tight if you're a little bit looser and maybe i'm in holiday mode <laughs> Or maybe I'm not really paying attention because I'm just like, get these finished. Um, but yes, so um, I've got another couple of hours of crochet ahead of me. It's nearly 10 o'clock, um, but there's a new program started on the BBC. If you haven't watched it called The Traitors with Claudia Winkleman off of Strictly. Oh my God, it is brilliant. So we're going to go and watch the next one of them. And then we have, oh, he's going on that way. She doesn't have to come and say hello. Say hello. Bye. Um... And then we're going to watch MasterChef. So I've got another two hours. So my plan is to do Gilbert's wings and his tail. And then I've only got his legs to go, I think. I don't think I'll do it all tonight. Um, but stress, I am running out of wool. So all these birds, I haven't... The only wool I've bought to make the birds was two balls of black, 25 grams, to make Peter the Blackbird. And that's it. All the rest of the wool has come from my toft stash. But this is all the chestnut I have left. And out of that, I have to get two wings and the tops of the legs. Oh, here's another bit. This, this, this little segment is a bit long. I'm sorry. But it's got crochet in it. So what more, you know. If you all drop out like 20 minutes in. <laughs> I know why. Um, I ran out of black. So Gilbert the Wood, um, no, John the Woodpecker is black, um, but I can't find it in my bag of bits. Something, where are, oh, it's the wing. The wings, I think it's the wings. Or maybe it's his tail. Something on the Woodpecker, <laughs> I had to switch to grey instead of black, which I don't think you can necessarily... You probably can't tell. In, oh, maybe you can tell. Anyway, um, I know it's there. Mark now knows it's there because I've been saying this out loud. And usually what Martin, what Mark doesn't see, Martin gets away with. But I definitely ran out of, I ran out of charcoal. No, I ran out of black and I had to switch to charcoal. Um, but maybe it was I don't know, I'm babbling. What are you on about, man? Oh, yes, it was on his wing. You definitely won't see this, I don't think. But if maybe you can in the camera. Very subtly lighter there. This is all black. And then there's a little bit of a... He's just an aging woodpecker, and he's going a little bit grey like we all are. That's basically what I'm saying. But I've only got this much chestnut left. So I'm going to do the two wings, hopefully. And then if I... Don't if I've got enough of the wings, but I haven't got enough of the tops of the legs, it's fine. I can use a different colour brown. If I don't have enough to finish the second wing, I'm gonna leave the wing. I will order another ball of wool from Toft to be here when I come home, and Gilbert will just have one wing. I'm okay with that until the wall arrives. Um so yeah. 
a bit of a rambling check-in, but you're here for behind the scenes real life. The tree is up. It's starting to be festive. We've not even thought about packing yet. That's tomorrow's task and probably Thursday morning because we're not going until Thursday lunchtime. And it won't take long to pack. I don't pack. I'm sure lots of you will, re will recognise this with your other halves, significant others. There will be one person in the couple who is meticulously packing and making sure everything fits, Mark. And there's one person that throws it in the case and hopes for the best, me. So I just put all the things out on the bed folded and then Mark makes sure they go in the suitcase. So Mark will pack Thursday morning. Um, but I'm now going. I got my readers on. It's late. We're off to go and try and do some bird rings. So I will check back in in the morning for tomorrow's advent. We'll open the bag. We'll see what tomorrow has in store. And then I will be back tomorrow after work and share. How far did I get with that bird? Hopefully I can finish that bird. I've just dropped more bits on the floor. If I can finish this one by tomorrow night, I'm only one behind. And then I feel like I can go on holiday and not worry about my birds. But, oh, I'm going delirious now. Right. For me and the giant bird. <laughs> See you in the morning. Good morning, good morning. Final bit of this video then. It is Wednesday the 7th of December. It's my last day and Mark's last day before we go on holiday. So I should have been in work by now because it's quarter past eight and I've been getting bits of clothing out and things. So I thought I would open up Advent, give you a quick bird update. Um, I've just flashed the tree at you because um, I'm not sure that I showed it off after we spent all that time decorating it. Um, if I did, you've got to see it twice. <laughs> it's the thing with these videos, you film lots of bits of footage, then you, when you go to edit together, you go like, oh, I didn't film that, or oh, I filmed that already. Um, today's advent clue then, so we have another ball of wool for today, and a toff staple is the shale. So, um, we are, I said we were legs. Yeah, so we're gonna take the start of the leg. If you can hear noises in the background, it's the washing machine. Last minute emergency. Oh my God, I need that shirt. Um, so we've got the leg started and then we're gonna add to the bottom. Um, so there we are. Um, I have made an executive decision this morning and I'm not gonna do my advent piece today because it's only the bottom half of the leg and it's not a long bird leg, it's a stumpy bird leg. So I can do, we've got to finish one leg today and then finish the other leg tomorrow. But I feel like I can just finish both legs in the morning because we're not leaving until lunchtime. I can get up, I can have a little potted around. So my any crochet time I get today will be um, on my advent bird. And quick update, so you saw giant umpa lumpa bird yesterday um i did the tail so that is done and i did the two wings and i said i might run out of yarn and i did run out of yarn uh so as at last night i was just going to stuff that end inside and then when i sew them up i was going to sew them up and just leave him with a short stumpy wing and then I will have to order um, a ball of yarn because I've used all of that. However, I'm just going off camera. Last week I impulse bought at Toft, of course I did. I'll show you in another video. Um, I bought the new stash bag because it had a patch with it. Um, but I also, in the Black Friday sale, I impulse bought Elfie because you've seen I have Elf. 
So um, I picked up an Elfie, and I think it was like in the Black Friday sale, it was like eight quid, something like that. It was really cheap. Um, but had a flash of inspiration this morning, and Elfie's hair is chestnut. Woo! I know it's the, it's the photography. So um, I'm going to bust open Elfie's kit. <laughs> And I'm going to borrow a little bit of brown because ideally I want the brown to finish the wingtip and I also need brown to do the first bits of the legs. So I'm going to do that. So my crochet plan for tonight will be to finish the pheasant and hopefully make a start on the next one. But of course, I will be under firm instructions when I come home from work tonight. He might greet me with a glass of Prosecco and say, ho, 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 we're going on holiday, but he be under no illusions, he will be a taskmaster. The reason I'm late is I've already had to get clothes out on the bed for pre-folding. Um, you all love him, but he is a bit of a taskmaster when it comes to holiday packing. Um, so, what? Just do it, yes. So, any discretionary time I have this evening will be focused on the 12 birds. A stretch plan would be to finish the pheasant and do the body of the other one. So then I've only got the legs and the wings to do, which I can easily do when I come home. But I'm, I'm fully down with the idea now that I'm not going to get my video. I've got a reel in mind. My reel's not going to happen this side of the holiday, but that's fine because that can be a Christmas week video. When are the 12 days of Christmas? I don't really know. If you know, let me know in the comments below. It's one of the, I could probably just Google it, but one of you clever people will know. Um, so there we go. So that is my plan. I'm not going to do today's advent. I'm going to do that tomorrow and do the two legs. I'm going to focus on my birds. Thank you. There's been a lot of birds in this episode, but you'll be pleased to know, I promise it will be bird light in future. We'll be back to normal advent. And of course, the next time you see me, I'll be on my holly bobs and I'll hopefully have lots of fun sightseeing and woolly things. I've got a list of yarn shops. People keep popping up on my Instagram, letting me know where to go, which is wonderful. So thank you very much for that. Um, Mark has agreed to come to one or two wool shops, but he's not coming to every wool shop. So we're going to have some time apart on holiday, which I think will be nice. Um, so I'm going to edit this video together today, get this uploaded onto the YouTube and then we are going to the airport tomorrow and then we are flying Friday morning. So I will probably do an episode Friday or Saturday. I will see. When do we leave Oslo? Monday. Monday. I need to think about whether I'm going to do like an Oslo episode. I might do an Oslo Vlogmas, then a Stockholm Vlogmas and then a Copenhagen Vlogmas which would be my three videos a week. But I might, if there's lots of things to show, I might, I'm not gonna go daily, but I might do little, I'll do smaller snippets. We'll see, anyway, I'm babbling. Right, I really do have to go to work. I've got my glasses. I forgot them yesterday. Um, I've got my glasses and yeah. Um, thank you very much for <laughs> being on my Vlogmas journey and watching along and commenting along. Congratulations to Nicole for winning the Toft advent. Nicole got in touch. Um, we confirmed all of her details and I've sent, Mark sent yesterday, the advent off. So that is winging its way to Germany. So thank you so much to everyone that entered. Again, if Kerry ends up watching or one of Team Toft does, thank you to Team Toft and to Kerry for the generous prize. Um, so happy to be able to spread, uh, spread some festive love this season. Um, so I'm gonna go because I'm going to be late and Mark's going to tell me off. Why are you still here? He's trying to work. Um, so thank you very much for being here. I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. So until we speak again, happy crafting. Mm -hmm.